Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and the following is a video lesson from the Ultimate Lookup Formulas course. All right, so in the next few videos, we're going to look at how to do lookups with dates in Excel. And before I get into that, I want to just give an overview of what a date is exactly and how they work in Excel. It's good to have a good understanding of how dates work because they can be tricky sometimes. So, of course, this here is a date in Excel. And I should preface that this is a U.S.-based date uh, with the format of a uh, month day and then year. So this would be January 25th, 2015. And basically dates are actually numbers in Excel. They're stored as numbers and we just format them as dates. So this cell over here to the right of it is actually that date formatted as a number. And if I, I show you how that works, if I'll just copy this cell over here and paste it right here. So here's my date and you can see up here in the ribbon and this is currently formatted as a date. The number format format is date. And if I changed this to number, it would display this number right here, this big number. So what does that number mean? Well, if you've ever accidentally uh, put a one in a cell, I just have a one in a cell here and then formatted that cell as a date, you will get this date right here, which is January 1st, 1900. And basically what happens in Excel is the date system in Excel starts on that date there, January 1st, 1900. So basically what this number is showing right here is the number of days since that date. So if I was to put a two right now, this cell basically just contains a one. If I was to put a two in the cell, just hit control enter there, this will display January 2nd, 1900. So each number, each increment of one whole number is a day in Excel. So we are currently 42,000 29 days from uh, January 1st, 1900 for, for this date here. So that's how many days have elapsed since 1900. So that's basically how dates work. Now dates can also contain times. So this particular date here is a date and time, and you'll see it's formatted that way. If you look actually in the formula bar up here, you'll see the full timestamp uh, with a space after the date and then the full timestamp. And then you can display it different ways. There's different ways to display the day and time based on the different formatting types. But basically what happens with that is the the time is actually just an increment of one day. So it's just a percentage or a portion of one day. And that's how it's calculated here. So this 0.59236 is just the equivalent of the number of hours that have elapsed since midnight on this day. So it's just a fraction of the day basically. And that's how it's displayed or formatted or stored as a number within Excel. So it's important to know this uh, when we're doing lookups because it can when we look up dates or you're trying to look up the date values um, these small issues here can cause problems and can cause errors so we first are going to just understand how this works and then in the following videos I'm going to explain how we can do lookups with dates and how to get around some of those potential errors so that was a video lesson from the Ultimate Lookup Formulas course. This is an online video course with over 100 short video lessons like the one you just watched. This course is comprised of eight training modules with practice assignments to help keep you on track throughout the course. You can watch the course anytime, anywhere, on any device. If you'd like to learn more about it, please click the link below at excelcampus.com lookups. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.